Alright guys, welcome back. So on last week's tutorial and on the previous tutorial about saving games and saving information from games, um, on both those videos I've seen questions about um, how to encrypt information. People generally worried about the fact that because we save this information to any files and stuff um, in plain text it will be in theory very easy for the end user to just open up those files with a text editor and change all of the information you're saving from your game which wouldn't be good. Now, how much of a problem this is depends entirely on what kind of game you're making. It's kind of overrated, really, as a problem, especially in single-player games, because, you know, if you were to cheat there, you'd really only be doing it for your own benefit, you know, it's not really something most players would really do. But, nonetheless, it is something worth knowing about for a lot of reasons and is generally useful for a lot of different things. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tutorial today on how to use game make some of game makers built in functions to um, actually encrypt the information that we save to files and decrypt it upon loading those files now what do i mean when i talk about encryption when i say that i'm talking about uh taking information and making it essentially scrambling it into an unreadable form so that um, a human user is unable to edit or change it um but we can unscramble that information at a later date whenever we want to use it again in the game. So how the process works in terms of saving information is we have this information in the game right now, the room we're in, the points we have, um, and what we do is we use an algorithm of some sort to scramble that into something that's unreadable to the human eye, and that is the information that we save into the file. And then when it comes to loading information for the game, we load that unreadable information and put it back through the algorithm that in theory only we know about to um, get back to the original information that it was scrambled from in the first place. Meaning the only thing that we save to the file is scrambled encrypted information, but the game itself is able to read and write uh, that uh, information. So, hoping that explanation made any sense whatsoever, I'm going to get right in there and show you how we can modify the code that's the exact same code we used last week. I'm just going to modify this code to uh, encrypt the information that we're saving so that it's no longer plain text. So, before what we did in our save game script here, um, where we have this line that says var save room equals room, the information we're about to save. So instead of setting save room to be directly the room name and saving that to our file, we're going to set it to be an encrypted version of that information. Now there's a function in GameMaker called base64 underscore encode. And I'm going to write string in here. like that. So basically what I've done here is, um, the reason I'm using string for room in this is because uh, base this function is designed to work with strings specifically. And it's going to take um, it's going to take our room name or room number or whatever, if uh, we're on level 2 it'll probably be like 2 or something like that. It's going to turn that into a string form, so like text. The, the text 2. And it's going to encrypt that using um, base64. Um, basically all you need to know about this is it's going to turn it into essentially unreadable gobbledygook that you won't be able to, that, that won't make any sense to the human eye. And uh, it'll put it into this variable. Of course it isn't actually nonsense, it's just a encrypted form of this information. So now we've encrypted that information, we can move on and encrypt the points that we're going to write to the save file as well. So I'm going to say var save points equals base64 encode again. Uh, this time string again, because it has to be a string. Uh, global dot points, which is the variable we're storing our points in. So we're taking our points variable, turning it into a text string, and then turning that text string into an encrypted text string and putting it into this variable. Now instead of writing uh, real numbers to the ini, we can't anymore because these are no longer real numbers, they're strings now. 
So I'm going to turn these any right reels into any right strings. Like that. Um, save room, we can leave that as is because we're writing the because save room now contains the encrypted version of the room that we're in. But here we want to write saved points, which is our encrypted variable, rather than just global points. To split that up a bit. So you can see what's happening. We're in co we're taking information in the game, uh, like the room that we're in and the number of points we have. We're encoding it or encrypting it um, and taking that encryption and putting it into a variable. And then we're saving that variable to the any instead of just the plain text, the plain number that we had before. So now if I go ahead and run that, loading obviously won't work properly here because... Um, how we've changed the information, but if I just go through and I go to like level two, get some points, go through level three, get some points, and now we're in level four. So we're in level four with six points, and I just open up the um, the save file. Let me click edit with it. Not bad. You can see here how it's input the point says ng equals equals and na equals equals, right? To us that's nonsense. Um, editing this to be a different number would be impossible because we don't know uh, exactly how this encoding system works. That's the idea, that's what makes it harder to um, edit this information. In theory you could go further, you could encrypt the name of each section and the, uh, the name of each key itself, but for now we're just doing the simple, we're just um, encoding the actual important information, the actual values attached to each one of these things in our save file. So that's how the save script works. Now we just need to be able to load that information back into the game and decode it back into useful information from the nonsense that we've encoded it as. So if we go into our load game script, um, what we need to do here is we've already we can already load this string in here, but before we assign global points to be this, um, I'm going to get rid of this line entirely and say var loaded points equals any read string uh, save one, that's the section uh, points, that's the key and a default value of zero I guess, yeah. um, oh and in here we need to set this to any read string oh, meaning I should probably set that default to be a string of zero instead and the same can go for that so now we've gotten, the, we already know how this works. We've gotten the information back from the file, but it's encoded currently. So we need to decode it. So I'm going to take that variable that I just established, loaded room, and set it to equal um, real because I want to turn it back into a real number. Because you remember we encoded it as a string. Base sixty four underscore decode loaded room. So it's going to take itself um, it's going to decode it back into its string form which will be like 4 as a string or whatever as level 4 and it's going to turn that back into a real number so that it's back to what it was before. Um, we can close the any file then and then go to the room and that'll work. Um, and then we just need to do the same thing with points. So global dot points which is the variable in which we store our actual points is going to be real, again, real number, base64 decode loaded points. It's just going to decrypt that information. And that's really all there is to it. So now if I run the game and I go to continue, you see level 4.6. That's where we got to before and that's how many points we had. If I run it from the beginning, hit start. Here, level one, level two, level three. Uh, no, sorry, level three with three points. Okay, so level three with three points saves at the start of the room, so that should be the information that it saved. Come out, run the game again, continue. This is level three, points three. Simple as that. And then if I open up the save file again, 
and see there it is points mw equals equals and room mw equals equals actually the same one so we actually you can start to work out that that uh, is means three because it was level three and points three right but no encryption is ever going to be perfect and it's very simple information it's just a number so it's not ridiculously hard to work out whereas more complex information would be more difficult and it's up to you how deep you want to go into this sort of stuff you could come up with your own uh, encryption algorithm entirely but i think for most people just the basic basis 64 functions that come with game maker will probably be good enough for keeping most of your information as safe as it needs to be but that's the basics on generally what you want to do if you want to try and encrypt and keep some of your information a little bit more safe when you save it hope that was useful to you guys and i'll catch you guys next week thanks for watching see you guys